Hi, I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life, and I am a realtor here in Austin. I am giving you a house tour at 1306 Navasota today. This lovely home sits on a flag lot, so there is another house in front of this house. However, you do get some very decent yard space, so we'll go check that out in just a moment. But I wanna give a nod to the clean, high contrast, black and white design with gray details and beautiful white oak floors. I love the three pendants hanging down above the island and the open floor plan feels really good in here. Lots of nice space and then it leads right into the outside and you kind of have this L-shaped garden area. Let's take a peek. One of the most amazing parts of Austin is our trees and we love them dearly. Look at this many hundreds year old oak tree right here. If you have a pet, you have front yard as well. So if there was a pet situation, just a little enclosure right there and your pet has plenty of room to run around. I really love the choice of fence that they made as well. We are a town with lots of cedar and so this has got the black piping and the cedar will age over time into a kind of a light gray which will marry well with the floors inside. So let's check out the upstairs. I love how they did the floors all throughout on all three levels. So we have the master on the second floor. You have some nice windows perfectly placed to have your bedside tables in front of them. It's kind of like two masters in this house actually, but this is the master master, as you can see by the clean, lovely shower. You have the dual sinks and you have the natural light streaming in. So many nooks and crannies in this house. I love how we're getting this little peekaboo window. I'm looking out that window at another new build going up so I know that my real estate value is on the rise in this neighborhood. Good call. So we have some great light in this room and this would be awesome for a kid's room or an office and it's got its own ensuite as well. And right down the hall, we have our washer and dryer station. Nice and convenient. And then there's one more story upstairs. Loving this modern light fixture and the pony wall with the window placement. It gives you a little more space, breathability, and adds light to the space. We have another bedroom over here. I like the consistency of the use of tile. The high contrast always makes a space feel really chic. And they made a really good use of space by not eating up bedroom square footage by putting the closet in the bathroom. Right here down the hall, we have another little room. Again, could be a small kid's room or an office and beautiful light streaming in through the very tall window and high ceilings. We're in the winter season right now, but when it is spring and summer, you'll just have a vista of all the green leaves right out your window. Let's see what we have going on over here. We have a really great storage closet with a powder room over here. Love the use of tile and choices. garage and the reason why we're in here is because they did a great job with this frosted glass garage door and this space would be so easy to finish out. You do a little mini split in here and you have a whole nother room on this house and in Austin it's super common that we have carports rather than garages so you could just extend a little bit of a roof line out and have a carport right there because you have this nice long driveway. I think they've done a great job with the door selection because it allows light in and you could go for black but it would have felt heavy and so the white with the light it just makes the wall feel bigger. Good job. A really common thing downtown is to have these little mini pools because man, do you need a pool in the summertime here. This property, the way that it's laid out, it would suit a mini pool just right, like maybe in that corner over there or it could go long ways that way. And gosh, that would make such a difference here in the summer. The other good thing about a mini pool is the mini price tag. 
There is a little apartment around the back that I'm about to take you to. You wouldn't even know that you had a tenant or an Airbnb studio up there because it's got its own entrance. It's separated from the house and I can tell that this house is really well made so you're not gonna hear all that noise. So you have your own entry into the apartment right down this area and you can come in right through here. It's like I'm back in Los Angeles in Venice or something with this cute apartment upstairs. But what's also great, I'm just thinking of a person that would be in this space and it would probably be a young person, like your bike rack right there and then you can just zip right around town. So you have this lovely little additional unit in the back of the house, which could be wonderful for extra income, or it could be a college student of your own or whatever. It's a great space for somebody's first new apartment. I mean, can you think of this in your 20s? Like, I would so love this. It's contemporary. The finishes are really great. It's got KitchenAid appliances. You have your washer and dryer tucked into the closet over here, which is great. And you have this super cute studio space. Perfect for a young person. I love the high contrast of the black and white and just keeping it nice and clean and simple.